Welcome to the channel. Today I have a 2003 Toyota Camry. How reliable is a 2003 Camry? Well, we've had this one for a long time. We bought this one back in 20, what is it, 2016? So about five years now, five years of ownership. And interior wise, we really haven't had to fix anything. Interior wise, we haven't done anything to it other than clean it a couple times, which is what it needs right now. It is just super dirty. It is filthy. We have a little bit of thing here. That's about it. The radio works. But this, this right here is kind of worn out a little bit, but not too bad. Still working. AC is ice cold. I think we've serviced the AC before. But we got to get some AC because it's about 100 degrees outside. It's got 204 miles. So <laughs> I was about to say, not bad. It's in the lower 200s, which is cool. AC is good. We've redone the headliner because the headliner was really bad. But it looks really good and that's held up. We did that when we first got the car. So about four or five years. I got my car seat in the back because we had to go pick up my son. So all the seats are in good shape. No big stains, no big rips, no big nothing. The steering wheel is still in good shape, even after not cleaning it for a while. Rubber floor mats, everything here still works. AC still works. All we do to it now is basically just the motor oil. We've done the transmission oil to it once when we first got it. And now we did, and now we do the motor oil every two, or we do the oil twice a year. So I gotta go pick up my son. It's 538, he's off at six. He's part of a program called ACES. So it's basically an after school program. So let's go pick him up. Service wise, all we do to this one is change the oil. And I'm dead serious for the last four or five years, all we've done is change the motor oil. And we change it twice a year. That's it, I run mobile one full synthetic with a good filter and that's about it, 200,000 miles. Did the transmission oil once and I believe we had to do some some suspension when we first got the car. And uh, after that, she's running good. Just running perfectly. There's really no shakiness in the wheel, cruise control. I mean, everything is still working, functioning perfectly. Glove box is just dirty, full of stuff. Yeah, just little minor things here on the inside. On the outside, the paint is all faded up, completely destroyed. I mean, that's just common. That's what happens with the Toyota Camry. And you can see we don't wash it every day. This is like our beater car. We just take this thing everywhere. But I do keep up with the service. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of your Toyota Camry 2003. Whether you think this is the best body style for the Camry or the older body style, the more squared up one. I like the squared up body style. I also like this body style, but I don't really buy a whole lot of these, mostly because these are known to smoke when you turn them on. They have like a smoking problem and this one has that problem. But it only does it once a day and I don't even pay attention to it anymore. It doesn't really burn any oil. Like the dipstick is never low. After like six months of not changing the oil, the dipstick is not low. It just burns a little bit of oil, I guess, at startup, which I hear is very common for this car. And at first I was like, oh my God, this is a big issue, this is a big problem. My car is burning the oil. I can physically see it burning out the exhaust pipe and it's not. I mean, I have no problem with the catalytic converter or any of that stuff. It's just something normal that happens to these cars, I guess. I'm even calling it normal. Because, like I said, we've had it for five years. I'm not sure how much miles it had when we first bought it, just because we've had it for so long. But we probably put like 10,000 miles a year, so we probably had it for 150,000 miles we got it, and now it has 204. I drive it hard. We drive it like we stall it. Because it's not a very expensive car, it's an easy car to fix, and super reliable and super maintainable. I mean, come on, I just changed the oil twice a year. That's like ridiculous. Freeway. Let's see what this Camry's got. It's a 2.4 liter motor. It's a little four cylinder. Mm -hmm. 
Man, she's fast. That was not a zero to 60, but that was fast. Quick. Well, let's see how her beater car does on the freeways. I'm going 60 now with no problem at all. Nothing in the wheel, nothing here, nothing there. Let me see. Going 70, perfect. The wheel's not shaky, it's not turning to the left or to the right. Going 75 now and same thing, not one single problem. Let me go 80. Okay, I'm going 80 now. I'm going 85. I'm gonna slow down pretty soon, but, but yeah, nothing. No serious issues, no big issues. Going 80, 85 down the freeway. And I mean, the speed limit is 65 here, so why am I going 80? I have no idea. Been up with this crowd of traffic, so I'm gonna slow it down. Look at my son, so I'm just gonna cruise. I'm gonna put, let's put the cruise control on. Cruise, going 70. I, I don't even know the history of it, but I know it's a clean title. Brakes felt good. 70 all the way to 55, 58. So that felt really good, no shakiness in the wheel. And now I'm stuck behind a trailer. No does anymore. The, the 20, like 17 and down, I still like. Cause they're plain, they're simple, good cars. But I mean, they gotta keep up with their competition. I just wish they were as reliable as these ones right here. Cause I mean, it's so old and it's got, I mean, really minimal wear. Look at these. I mean, door handles are really common on the Toyotas. But I haven't had to replace these. I don't know if they've been replaced. The radio still works. The only issue is this right here. These little knobs. If you have a Toyota camera, you know what I'm talking about. Electrical problems don't exist in this car. Transmission problems don't exist in this car. It probably has a sealed transmission. They tell you not to do it, but you should service your transmission on your Toyota. Even though Toyota says not to. They don't want you overfilling it. That's why they say that. But man, what an amazing machine. And it gets amazing gas. Especially right now, gas is $4.12 a gallon. Jesus. Ah, oh, poor California, what are we gonna do? My boss was trying to cut my pay. It was insane. Everything is going up. Everything is skyrocketing. And my boss, which is actually my dad, <laughs> walks up to me and he's like, Nelson, I think I'm gonna have to pay you less. And, I, and he was being dead serious too. He's like, I don't know what's gonna happen with this pandemic. I don't know what's gonna do this, what's gonna do that. He's like, but Nelson, I'm gonna have to pay you this much. And dude, like I almost lost it right there. <laughs> and I was like, you can't. I told him, you can't do it, Teal. You can't not pay me more. You can't not pay me less. You know, I'm not a millionaire. I live in an apartment. <laughs> Freaking one bedroom, one bath apartment, pay like a thousand dollars. Plus TID, PG&E and everything else. You know, $1,000 for a little tiny ass apartment. It's terrible. And he's telling me he's gonna cut my pay. And I'm like, dude, everything is skyrocketing. How are you gonna cut my pay? <laughs> like, I don't do enough. Whew. It was tough, but it was a short battle. I did not let him win. I didn't ask for more. You know, I just wanted my fair cut for everything that I do and the, everything that I do for him. But man, to get paid less right now? I mean, everyone's getting paid more. And he wants to pay me less. I was freaking out. Just a freak out moment. What have you guys been doing with the whole pandemic thing? You know, with your jobs, or if you're even not working, that's cool too. I mean, shit, I'd rather not be working either. But we gotta do it. I just can't be home, like not doing anything. Or even just be home playing video games and stuff. Like you get bored. You get bored of it really fast. And I'm the kind of person that's everywhere. I love going outdoors. You know, we went, we went hiking the other day and that was awesome. And if we ever go to the lake or to the ocean, I gotta get in. <laughs> I have to get in. I have to go swimming. And my son, he loves swimming too. So we're really close to his school. This is the school right here. Oh, you hear that noise in the steering wheel? Like the plastic rubbing? 
they always do that noise all the Camrys that I, that I have do that noise especially this year we don't really buy a whole lot this year because of that issue that they have where they smoke but when we do get them they always have that even the neural Camrys like 2000 what is it, 2007 and up I believe it's 2007 yeah they do like a little squeak and it's not in the suspension it's <laughs> that's awesome. that's awesome all right guys well that's our video i gotta go pick this little guy up thanks for coming with me see you on the next one